Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how to configure iSCSI storage for Hyper-V. Hyper-V offers several storage options for storing VM data including direct attached storage, shared storage, cluster shared volumes, storage spaces direct and REFS. Connecting Hyper-V host to a storage infrastructure is an essential part of deploying a virtualization environment, especially in scenarios involving high availability, scalability and efficient storage management. There are several methods to connect Hyper-V host to storage depending on the storage type you are using. Connecting iSCSI storage to Hyper-V is a common setup for environments that require shared storage for virtual machines or for VM migration, high availability or clustering. Typically when configuring shared storage, this is achieved through a storage area network where storage is provisioned on a SAN appliance. The SAN and Hyper-V host are connected via high-speed network, usually at least 10 Gbps to enable efficient data transfer. SANs that are enabled with iSCSI present storage targets to clients who are initiators. In a virtualization environment, the clients or initiators are the Hyper-V host. The targets are the LUNs that are presented to the hypervisor host for storage. The iSCSI LUNs act as if they are local storage to the hypervisor host. For this video, we will be using Windows Server 2022 as a iSCSI target server. Configuring iSCSI storage for Hyper-V involves a two-step process. Step 1. Install and configure the iSCSI target on Windows Server 2022. Step 2. Set up the iSCSI initiator on the Hyper-V host to access the shared storage. We will be setting up this machine as a iSCSI target server. We will start by installing the iSCSI target server role on Windows Server 2022. This can be done either through Server Manager using the GUI or by using Windows PowerShell. In the Windows Server 2022 video series, I have created a dedicated video on how to configure Windows Server 2022 as an iSCSI target server. You can also check out that video for more detailed information on configuring the iSCSI target server using the Server Manager GUI method. The link to that video is provided in the description. In this video, we will use the Windows PowerShell to install and configure the iSCSI target server role. Right click the Windows Start button and select Windows PowerShell Admin to launch the PowerShell with administrative permissions. Type the command install Windows feature fs iSCSI target server include management tools. Press Enter to install the iSCSI target server role along with the required management tools on this server. Wait for the installation process to complete. Similar to the installation process, you can configure the iSCSI target on Windows Server 2022 using both the GUI and PowerShell. Again, we will be using PowerShell method to configure iSCSI targets. Let's create a new iSCSI server target. Type the command new hyphen iSCSI server target hyphen target name iSCSI target 01 hyphen initiator ID at IP address 172.18.72.98. This command creates the iSCSI target named iSCSI target 01 and the initiator IP address for example 172.18.72.98. Press enter key to run the command. Next, create a virtual disk by specifying the desired location and disk size. Type the command new hyphen iSCSI virtual disk hyphen path e colon slash iSCSI storage slash disk 01 dot vhdx hyphen size bytes 100 GB. This command will create a new virtual disk named disk 01 in the iSCSI storage folder on the E drive with a size of 100 GB. Press enter to run the command. Now we want to assign this virtual disk to the iSCSI target that we created earlier. Tap the command add hyphen iSCSI virtual disk target mapping hyphen target name iSCSI target 01 hyphen path e slash iSCSI storage slash disk 01 dot vhdx hyphen lun 55. This command associate the vhd to the target name iSCSI target 01 and set the lun number to 55. It is important that the lun number for a given target is unique. Press enter to run the command. iSCSI target configuration is completed. Now let's move on to the second step 
accessing the iSCSI target on the Hyper-Way host and connecting to it using the iSCSI initiator. The iSCSI initiator is the client tool used to connect to and access the virtual disk on the iSCSI target. On the Hyper-V server, open the Server Manager dashboard. Click on Tools and select iSCSI Initiator. The first time you start the iSCSI Initiator, you will be prompted to start the iSCSI service. Click Yes to start the iSCSI service. This will also set the service startup type to Automatic. Go to Discovery tab, click on Discover Portal. Enter the IP address of the iSCSI target server. In our case, the IP address of iSCSI target server is 172.18.72.50. The default port for iSCSI is 3260. Click OK. Next, go to the Targets tab. We can see that the target is detected, but its status is inactive. Select the discovered target and click on Connect. You can select the option Add this connection to the list of favorite targets to reconnect the iSCSI targets whenever the server restarts. By default, this checkbox is selected. At the moment, we are not configuring Multipath I.O. or adjusting the Advanced options. We will configure those options when setting up Hyper-V clustering. Click OK. The status will be changed to Connected. Click on Devices while the target is selected. Check the disk name and address. In our example, the disk is disk 2 with LUN 55. Click OK. Again click OK to close iSCSI initiated properties. Open the Run menu, type diskmgmt.msc and press Enter to open the Disk Management Console. Verify that the new disk is present in the Disk Management Console. In this example, the new drive is disk 2 with 100 GB of unallocated space. The disk is currently offline. You can bring the disk online, choose a partition style and create a partition on it. But we are not going to bring it online at this moment as we want the disk to remain offline for the next video. In the next video, we will learn how to configure a Hyper-V pass-through disk. That's all for this video on how to configure iSCSI storage for Hyper-V. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Hyper-V and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.